One of my favorite things as a young boy was driving around in this old 1964 Chevy Impala with my dad on Saturday. And we'd be downtown, and he'd slow the car down, and he'd point out through the front windshield the buildings that he'd worked on, and what he'd done on them, and the, and the bridges that he'd worked on, and the things that they'd done, and the public work projects that they'd worked on, and the things that he'd done, and the pride that was in his voice and in his eyes when he talked about it, and his big, thick, calloused hands. And you know what? When I got older, I was able to do the same thing with my sons and show them the things that I'd built, the community that I'd built. And I loved being part of that, and my union brothers and sisters being part of that. And I know lots of other people strive to want to be part of that family, too. I want to ask each and every one of you in this room what the most important thing in your life is. The single most important thing in your life. And you don't have to shout it out to me. You don't even have to write it down because honestly I know the answer right before. I can look at you and I can tell you the answer. And the answer is family. Family comes before anything. And you know why unions are great? Unions are your family. You go to work every day with your brothers and sisters. Your unions have your back. Your unions look out for you. You know what your unions do that other jobs don't do? Unions provide benefits. And you know in the modern day, people don't even know what benefits are. Here's what benefits are. Benefits are insurance when you go to the hospital and help you pay for your medical bills. Benefits are or uh, prescription drug benefits. So when you go have to pay for medications for your kids when they're sick, you can actually afford to pay for the medications. Benefits are when you're sick, you cover some of your, your pay while you're out sick. Those are what benefits are. If you die, your family gets to pay for your funeral and has some life insurance coverage. Most of us don't think of that because we think it's not gonna happen. That's what our union brother and sisters do for us. Benefits are thinking long term. Maybe we're gonna retire someday. You know, most jobs are only worried about what are we getting paid today? We're never worried about 30 years from now, 40 years from now. You know how I know in some business somebody's gonna fail? They don't have a plan. Our unions help us have a plan, a plan for retirement, a plan for health care, a plan for this, a plan for that. When we're too young and don't know how to make that plan, the unions are making that plan for us. the benefits but there's also benefits that you can't put a dollar sign on and uh, that's the camaraderie if I had to go work for myself right now I couldn't make it because I would I'm, I'm used to somebody representing me and that's the main thing you know you work like anybody you know, you on your own you by yourself nobody can back you up they can do anything they want to do they look at you across the way run them off <laughs> They can't do that with the union. The real part that the union helps is by having schools and having training and having people there that are qualified to run the equipment and, and do the jobs that they're. Like I said, I've got, I've got brothers and, 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 and sisters and, and, and a lot of friends that, you know, they haven't got a, a pension. And how are they living? <laughs> They're just living from uh, probably from day to day. I mean, I meant from paycheck to paycheck. My advice would be to try to get through the apprenticeship, probably. You know, if they hadn't had the experience at all, and uh, let some of the old operators at least teach them how to how to work, and so forth. You know. I've been uh, in the apprenticeship trustee for six years now. And uh, our ambition is to get young people to do what we do. Important to him was to have a craft or a skill. And if you're good at it, you'll always have a job, so. But you'll get a lot more in your return on your money when you join the union than you would be if you were just uh, on Social Security. 
uh, a truck driver buddy of mine had a heart attack. $39,000 that come out of his pocket. I haven't had much experience with the non-union element, but I know they don't have retirement. I know they don't have hospitalization. And I know they certainly don't have the kind of brotherhood we've got. I've been in, uh, in the local for seven and a half years now. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. The pay's great, the benefits are outstanding, the pension. You know, they're good guys. And I, you know, my philosophy in business has always been the three G's. You are good people, you pay them good, you treat them good, and they'll make you look good. Uh, not just anybody can sit in their seats and, you know, squirt 242 foot of boom out of 45 uh, foot of offsetable jib or something like that and make a pick so far back, you know, know how to read the computers, know how to do the certified crane picks. So it's a, it's a good calling card for us, right? It makes us, makes us good money. Work, and if you're willing to work and put in the time and effort, you're going to have a family of mentors that are going to help train you and look after you and see that you learn to do the work the right way. And in doing so, you're going to be more professional and more capable and more satisfied in your work life. They ain't got no friends that's non-union. 